some of the students call me up and ask me, Mr. Kumar, you know, I'm not able to install this tools. I've downloaded the file, it's throwing some errors, I'm some, having some issues. So, uh, uh, with the experience that I have, uh, you know, installing this, you know, uh, there are two issues that I've seen or faced so far. So, I wanted to share that in the video. So, probably, you know, if you're facing some issues while installing, this particular video will solve that. And by the way, we provide the trainings on JMeter, Loadrunner, or different protocols, and I'll provide the live project support as well. So, let's look at the issues. So I've already downloaded and installed, so I cannot, uh, you know, create the issue. Uh, but um, let's go ahead and look at it. Okay, what are the typical issues? Okay, so okay, there you go. So first is you don't you already installed the Strawberry server. It's running fine. You know, it's all good. Uh, so you have unzip this. But when you're starting the server, you know, it won't start. You know, it blinks and goes away. So what is the first step that you would do is right click on this particular thing and maybe uh, run as administrator. Run as administrator, this will typically solve the problem. If it's not solving, okay, then the other issue is see what is this start server actually has. You see, it is going to the bin folder and that it is going and executing this particular program. So try to manually go to the bin folder and check this program if httpd.exe is there. You see, this is the executable file. If you go to the properties, you see this .exe file and it's httpd.exe. So sometimes what I've seen in some of the students' uh, machines that maybe the way they have downloaded or extracted or maybe they messed around and they happen to delete this particular executable file. And since you have deleted this executable file, you know, this particular program will not run. Basically, this program is actually running. It's going to the bin folder and running this executable file. Okay. So, what I would suggest is if this is not running, go to the bin folder and check if this executable file is there and maybe run that. Okay. To see if it is working fine. Okay. So, <coughs> or uh, maybe you can go to the command prompt. Okay. On this folder and then... Uh, run this particular uh, program okay maybe you can just copy this since you're already in this bin folder copy this and then execute it from here okay then you know if it is getting executed uh, then it's fine otherwise there is an issue okay uh, with this particular thing so that's something that you can try around okay but uh, typically typically okay so when you run this and it's not working the first step that I would do is go to the bin folder and see if this executable file is there. Everything seems to be fine. There is a final issue that you might face is the port. So for changing the port, go to the config folder, open this HTTP file and search for the listen and maybe you can play around with the port. By default, 1080 port is there. Maybe that is used by some other program and uh, since already it's, the port is occupied, you know, this, this particular server or this particular program is not getting started. So you can play around with the ports, maybe change it to 1081 or 1082 and then go ahead and run this. Okay. But if you have changed the port, make sure over here in the URL, change the port accordingly so that the application works. If you're going with the default 1080, okay then it will not work just in this case you see because I've changed the port uh, sorry I've changed the port over here uh, to 10 uh, 102 you see so I have to use that port so good luck guys um, now that you know uh, this hopefully this particular uh, uh, video would help you to solve the installation issues with the web tools so Good luck with your projects and uh, yeah, you can call me for the trainings or anything else. Thank you.